Uh, so, The Falling, the film that you guys are, are here with, um, you've just come back from Beijing, actually. Can you tell us a bit about that experience? It was mental. <laughs> Amazing, but mad. We weren't sure how they would take the film. And uh, we went to a press conference where people had seen it and it got translated. Yeah. And they loved the film. And they really um, got it. They enjoyed the weirdness, yeah. which was amazing. They, they really associated themselves with the story. They found it very exciting. They loved the magical realism element of it. Um, so that was a brilliant to think that our film can, which is you know set in a British girls' school, which in many ways is very British. Um, that it can go to China and be accepted and loved was exciting. It was cool. Was that international reaction something that you were worried about whilst making the film? I was, ne I was never worried because I feel like, the, you know, you, you tell a film, you know, you could tell a film about a village, but it can have a global reach. But hang on, we were worried about, you know, introducing it to a different culture. Yeah, it was a different, I mean, not while making different. the film. I didn't think, no, no, no. oh, will this sell to America or will it sell to China? But I think when we went to China, we, we were, were like... Yeah, sceptical of how they were going to receive it. And, like, a couple of people walked out in the middle. Yeah. That's fine. That's their response to it. But, no, the overall response was great. It's a very unsettling film to watch. Um, was that something that you intended to do to challenge the audience as well? Well, I think we have enough popcorn movies, and they're great in their own right. <laughs> but, you know, we have enough films that just you can, you know, have a sleep in and wake up ten minutes later and know where you are. I think I wanted to make an accessible film, but a film that ultimately was going to make you think about your own life and about the lives of the people in it and be a mystery so that you could actively be engaged in the film. It, must be, it would probably be easier to get a popcorn film made. Is that something that has been offered to you in the past? And uh, would you rule it out doing something like that? I could never make a popcorn movie. I think what you want to do is make films for the audiences that are out there that don't bother and go and see films anymore because they don't, you know, they want they want more from a film. So I think we can tend to make a quite monolithic audience. You know, you can close an audience down by having all white guys shooting each other. Or, you know, so I think people want to experience different worlds and experiences. They always have. So I think what the challenge is to uh, help distributors be able to offer for up different films and cinemas. And Florence, what about yourself? What sort of films would you be looking for next? Um, I don't know. I think it's so key for me to kind of uh, keep in touch with the the standard of film that I've done so far. I don't just want to sign myself down for something that, you know, just because I want work. I've got such um, a standard now, and I will always rate it back to the standard of The Falling. Um, I didn't realize at the time how, obviously I knew I was lucky, but how lucky I am now. Watching it again eight months later um, was a dream, because it meant that I could watch without being worried about looking at myself and really realizing how proud I am to be a part of this film. And with the casting of Maisie as well, um, was it a worry for you casting someone so well known beforehand? Uh, well, no, because I'd never seen her in Game of Thrones or Arya Stark, so from that perspective, um, it didn't worry me because I didn't know her as that. But on the other hand, if you cast somebody like Maisie who has already got a fan base, it's quite exciting because those fans are going to come and see the film and see something else and see her be a very different person in The Falling. And so, but you see, she will bring people to the film with her that might not have gone to see uh, an independent film. And Florence, final question for you. Um, I gather you are a big fan of Maisie from beforehand. So what was it like finally meeting her? Well, I have been watching Game of Thrones since I was way too young. I just secretly watched it in my room. Um, but obviously when I <laughs> when I turned up to the um, audition, I had just come out of the loo and I saw Arya Stark sitting down. I was like, oh my God. I'm gonna have to cool myself. I was like, nah, I could be cool. I could be cool about this. I'm not gonna like dribble over her because I'm an actor and I'm so serious. So I met her and I had this like really brief conversation. I was like, so uh, what are you auditioning for? And she was like, oh, this thing called The Falling. I was like, oh, no way. <laughs> And then it kind of, it, my, my whole idea of being cool kind of broke down. Um, but no, it was amazing to get to know her as well, not just to work with her, because we managed to create this friendship on screen and off, and that was a really powerful thing to live through. Excellent. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, and enjoy the night. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey You Guys.